trading was not made to turn $100 into $10,000 overnight. Do not think you could get rich trading, right? Get rich quick trading. You can get rich trading. This, for beginners, it is impossible. Don't think you could trade like the professionals, right? Don't think you could just pick up and, you know, make a trade and it's in profit and now you are five thousand dollars richer than you were yesterday and now you're the best that's not how it works if it was that easy everybody would be rich right but keep in mind that trading trading in general was made by rich to get richer right it was made by wealthy to get wealthier it's for the wealthy it's not for a poor mindset it's not for if you're poor you need you have to do the work you have to put in the consistency i will show you a traded method that as you can see here ten thousand dollars i would say aim for that aim for that that as your starting trading salary or the amount you start trading with because I will show you the method and along cons consistent videos over the next year or so I will upload a video every day showcasing the trading strategy and that the fact that it works every single day I would trade for one hour every single day and count the profit at the end of every video to show you how good the method works with consistency and the right amount of funds will be able to get rich right now this is how you do the trading so this is iq options and you could either do iq options pocket options binary options um expert options it's just binary options trading this is binary options trading right and the indicators i want you to use you only need two indicators right no fancy schmancy nothing right you need two simple indicators an rsi right just you, all you need to do is an indicator for buy and an indicator for sell right rsi and the next indicator cci right commodity channel index and relative strength index that's all you need okay and you just apply the defaults the defaults are period 14 overbought 100 you know overbought and oversold would be 100 and for the RSI, same thing, over, um, period 14, overbought 70, oversold 30, right? That's the default. Okay, so this is how it works. As you can see, there is the halfway, the under, and the 70, right? That's all you're working with. As the same thing as the CCI, 0, 100, 100. Up and down. Basic, right? As you can see, you have your blue line and your purple line. When the purple line is over the 50 and the blue line is over the 50, it's obviously where up. So you buy. If it's under the 50, as let's see, right here, as you can see right here, you sell. Keep in mind that you wouldn't win all the time. And that's where the strategy comes in, right? This, the 1, 3, 6, 13, 27, 8, 123 to 16 it's in a way that with the percentage of profits you'll always be able to make your loss back that makes sense i hope it does right let's just put this over here and hide it okay so now we trade i want you to make a trade for candle time set at five seconds it's up you buy right and you wait patiently wait Okay, so 1, 3, 6, 13, 27, 58, 1, 23, 261, 553, 170, 1173, 2490, and 5280, right? Now you wait and you make the trade, you set your candles at 5 seconds and you monitor this. You make your trade every 5 seconds in and you wait for the results, right? So, another tip. This is OTC markets. You don't trade OTC markets. You trade during the week. But since I'm making this video on the weekend, I'm trading OTC markets. But on the weekends, you take a break. You trade from 8 to 12 every day. Or you could trade from 8 to 9 or 9 to 10. You trade for a single hour every single day. 
and watch consistency increase your profit so we do three here right no technical analysis nothing just consistency and continuous trading right um we started off at 1000 we had to lose everything here this is how much i had i lost everything because it's a practice account just to start new and start fresh so that's thirty thousand thirty eight thousand seven hundred and eighteen that's small but we'll show you what's up so i'll start a motivational speech video now because you know why not feed your mind with positivity and good vibes while you do this right feed yourself obvious or cliche let me explain to you that it's in going that we're forced to find solutions we're forced to become more it's incredibly hard to stop an object in motion but the question is can you move forward when you don't have the answers when you're tired when what you've been looking for is nowhere to be found can you imagine at that moment what the other side will be like Looking back on your journey, knowing that where others stopped, you hung on. Where the cost was too much for so many, you laid it all on the line. These are the decisions you have to make now. So don't listen to that voice rationalizing, begging you to take it down a notch or return to the normalcy of yesterday. Let this message resonate. Hear me. Embrace the fact that you are always one move away from recapturing momentum from finding yourself again it's there everything you need is there have the patience to find it the patience to do what you do best find a way Never forget listening to Jim Rohn. I was taking a walk in the middle of the day. I needed to get out, decompress, rethink, realign. And this message came through my this head. This is the only traded method you've ever he said, needed. So we I must all suffer from I one of two pains. The pain. Pause this. So this is the only traded method you ever need. Like nothing else. This is all you need. This is all you Just ever need. Mm. Don't think that this this thing you're looking at is what would change your life right now. You subscribe and you watch it every single day. Mm. It wouldn't hurt. Wouldn't hurt. Don't think it would hurt. You just need a bit of consistency. Bit of consistency. The job you're in, just work, work, work. Save that money and trade. Trade, trade, trade. This method is infinite, right? This method is your C. This method is <laughs> the best thing to ever happen to you. Thank yourself for running into this method. You are love. You are important. You're the best thing to happen to you. You're the one to pull you out of whatever situation you might be in. You're the one to get yourself out of there. Nobody's coming to save you. You're the only person that's there to save yourself. Save yourself. Right? And then every time you win, you go back to one. Right? And that's the the key. Do not get greedy. Do not think that your wins are you being the best trader on the planet. Don't think that you'll get greedy or get complacent. Do not. Right? Use the method. You have a key. Use it. Don't try to pick the lock when you have the key. You use your key. It's smart to use your key when you have your key. And then you'll get things like this. You see that, you know, the only reason why this is important is because with trading, there's no way you win all your trades. It doesn't matter how good you are. I've watched the uh, other gurus trade. I've been a part of, you know, trading groups where they send 
trades every single day and their bad days people have bad days and i was like why do people have bad days like what's the reason for that what do you get from your bad days like how does that work trading supposed to be a way to make money it's like they say you know when you have bad days you should know when to stop and give up but how do you know when to stop how there's no way you actually know when to stop should you just give up let's say you just start trading with a hundred you do you see your trading guru do a hundred dollar trade you do let's say a couple dollar trades you lose all of them what do you do then like you just wait for the next day what if the next day is the same thing how do you feel then so i developed this trading method to utilize the idea of trading right don't think you could get rich off trading. Don't think that the small, measly amounts of money you have is going to do anything for you trading. Nope, you'll lose it all. right? But with this method, as you can see, we have $10,000, right? And probability. The probability of me losing, let's say, six, seven, eight trades in a row are very low. right? And with this method, you'll see. You'll see. And I hope that, you know, Enjoy life and pray for failure. Don't pray for success. Sounds very fucked, I know. Right? Pray for failure. Failure is the thing that drives people forward. Failure is the thing that pulls you out of whatever situation you're in. If you ever played any type of video games, you're not good at it first. You fail, you fail, you fail, you fail. And as long as you keep playing, as long as you show up every day, you become the best. Do not give up. Don't ever give up. No matter how hard it gets, don't ever give up. And that's that's the idea. You have to keep pushing. Keep pushing forward. Keep pushing P, you feel me? So now we buy here. We buy here for six, right? With six, we get five. And we just lost three dollars and four four dollars. And so we get back with dollar plus profits as here. We get a dollar and forty two cents profit, which is extremely good. Right? And if even if six lose, we do thirteen, right? Thirteen is good. So we're back back to the motivational speech. Listen to it, you know. The other videos wouldn't be me talking. This is just the first video of the series, right? The other videos are just going to be strict trading and the method. Nothing more, nothing less. Just trading and the method. Right? Tap in. Sure, things will feel strange at first. Abstract at first, wrong at first. It's when you get out it's incredibly your difficult. Zone. Your mind to wants to pull you back past. in your comfort zone and you try to get out. You have it's to hard to fight detach the edge. from the deeply rooted biological whispering of, hey, at least you knew what to expect back there. Mm hmm. I mean. But that whispering has preservation in mind, not happiness. And at some point, preservation. we need to stop preserving that which is not ideal. So go. The walls that once existed, they'll crumble. And this will be startling at first. Shocking at first, intimidating at first. It's incredibly difficult to watch foundational structures crumble around us. Especially when you know you are the one that lit the fuse. It's hard to walk away from the faint murmur stating, hey, this was your home. How dare you leave it? But those words, they have status quo. In mind, not growth. Always win. You and always win. You always you walk away with that dog. No and you don't even have to trade for the full hour. I'm just trading minute after just minute go. after minute after minute. Right? But you the don't have to trade like that. Yourself. We'll stop the at 220. So we'll stop at hour for the end. Right? So that's the one. Chapter. And this, this is how the trading this method works. Abrupt, right? Make sense? Unfair at first will leave you deeply unsatisfied at first. It's incredibly difficult to realize that happily ever afters aren't linear, they're cyclical. It's hard to walk away from the voices pleading with you not to turn the page. 
stating that because their realities will remain the same, so must yours. But those aren't the characters with whom you'll emerge victorious. Some movies must be recast, the setting reimagined, the hero reinvented. And so it should be known that your greatest strength is the little steps that you are capable of taking. The little decisions you are capable of making. And remember, safety is not safe when it keeps you from what you need. And the wrong nows have a tendency to evolve into the wrong forever. The small concessions, well, they become the big mistakes. So if it's a sign you're hoping for, let this be it. If there's a time you're waiting for, let now be that time. If it's someday you are dependent upon, let today be that day. As doing nothing is in fact a decision, but only one of many. One path laid out before you, one single grain of sand, where the edge of today's world touches the shores of tomorrow's. Sometimes it's about the ability to stand up, face the horizon, and just go. Go because it's only upon going that you realize you're capable of the journey. You finally see in yourself the strength you've longed for. It's in going that you realize... Also, I'm not gonna cut this video because... I feel like you watching this and you're trading with me. Me cutting it go make you feel as if, you know, you need to trade faster. So, you'll wait with me and be patient because this is about growth and this is about becoming someone else, right? I'll, I'll pause the full video. I know there's crickets chirping in the back. <laughs> but, you know, my crickets are lit. Leave my, crick leave my crickets alone for me. Watch this video, watch it well, see that it is, I'm Shamoy Foy, that's my name, alright, remember this name, I'll become great, I am great, I'm already the greatest person you'll ever meet. <laughs> This trading method is the best thing that this world has ever seen, there is nothing like this. And then again, I'm worried because <laughs> what if they kill me for this, bro? For me, nah, that's negative. Nobody wouldn't kill me for this. For me, it's not how the world works. It's a joke. It's a joke. It's a joke. But you need to watch your tongue and speak positivity into the world. Always speak positivity into the world. You're the universe in ecstatic motion. The gods they write about, that's you. That's you. There's a reason why all the gods have human features. What do you, why do you think that is? Why do you think Zeus is a man? Why do you think that is? Why do you think Jesus is a man? Why do you think the representation of God is a man, right? People like to talk about the actual, how angels actually look. But we fought them and drew them as men and as people and people who look just like us. Because they are us. And there's two things you could do with life, right? And I'll leave this with you. You could either A, be positive and end up going upwards in a positive spiral. Or you could B, be, be, be negative and end up in a negative spiral. You could, you're dragging yourself down. Nobody's dragging yourself down. Well, it happens in a way that, you know, you drag yourself down. The people around you are in a situation where it's not the best. And they feed negativity to you. So you soak that negativity up and you spit it back out into the world. So it works. That's how 
you call that generational curses but it's not really a curse is it because it's not really something that would be hard to break you just have to realize where you're at and what's going on around you and realize say hey i'm done with this this hasn't benefited me in no way this has me in this place for years and i'm not getting out of it let me try something new try being positive don't don't surround yourself with negativity the moment it sound like ham forget rid of it right anybody around you telling you that your goals aren't realistic or your goals will make get rid of them they're not pushing you forward they're dragging you down right and it's harsh because it's like or a family or i grew up with these people or these are my classmates these are my friends but 99% of the people around you wouldn't be there when you make it bro keep that in mind have to let go of them or else they're going to keep you down and you're sinking you're continuously sinking you need to cut that weight off you need to speak positivity into your life i heard a story the other day you know about a second grade kid who had a science project and all the project was was two plants two of the same flowers right and she watered them she gave them the same soil same plant same everything but to one flower she gave it negative words tell it you you're ugly i hate you you're trash get out you know the negative words and negative things and but to the other flower she said i love you you're beautiful you're special you're important i appreciate you do you know the weird thing that happened the one that received negative words <laughs> it shriveled up and died the soil around it got hard the whole atmosphere around the parents became around the plant became negative right but the other one who got the positive it flourished it became beautiful it became the most beautiful flower at least more beautiful than the dead one right and it just goes to show in psychology you call that a self-fulfilling prophecy and not just psychology with religion with christianity you see that jesus christ just told people to believe have faith it's not just believing and having faith is knowing that what i'm doing is leading up to something right you know you're going to the gym every day to get that gym bod right you don't you don't have the gym bod but you know for a fact if you go every day for 365 days you'll be the most shredded person in the gym you know that for a fact you know that if you don't skip a day you'll be the most shredded person in the gym but along the way you'll feel like skipping days you feel as if like man this is hard it's your it's you call it the lizard brain trying to pull you back into your comfort zone you know we evolved in a way that as humans we evolved in a way that let's say 20,000 years ago if you're a human and you'd leave your comfort zone you were dead something would eat you if you left your pack of humans your group of humans you would be dead like being shunned out of the society was negative so the mind evolved in a way that said please don't try anything new because a new berry a new type of berry imagine you're in the wilderness and there's a new berry that nobody else eat right but you, you want to try it you try it but it's a poisonous berry you're dead you're dead um there's natural selection cause and effect that's how your mind evolved for natural selection right so you have to know these things and know that your mind is going to try to pull you back and say man you could do this but it's what you want for yourself right because mm, i hear people saying a lot that a normal life you know a normal life is okay no mm -mm. normal life is not okay don't see that as okay get out free your mind you could be much more than what you are now right listen <laughs> you're great you're amazing you're the best the only reason why you believe you're not the best is because you've been surrounded with negativity get out get out free your mind free your mind open your third eye realize that the things around you can either a be positive that's 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 all the wealthy do it's all the rich do they keep a positive outlook they never once doubt themselves right and that's that's the key don't ever doubt yourself so it's 
there's three there's the poor the middle class and the wealthy the wealthy always has a positive mindset the middle class has a positive mindset most times and you know when situations get hard they kind of gain a negative mindset for a while they fix it and they get back into the positive outlook outlooks of things and things get better you know the you know but the poor on the other hand always has a negative mindset always ha- always has a i can't and i don't know how to and i won't and i'm not the best and everybody is against me and the world is against me and that's just the negative spiral they're in a negative spiral a negative downward spiral keep it as a downward spiral they're not going up they're pulling themselves down every day every day for a fact they're pulling themselves down right but you could change that and you don't have to be that you could pull yourself out of it and you could open your mind free your mind be positive be fully positive i probably sound like a hippie don't i but who get it, get it, who don't, don't, really and truly. And something you have to realize is that people, usually people speak out their ass. But most times people speak and try to say something. Right? There's no reason, the motivation or speech I was saying. Or do you think these men are just speaking just to speak? Or do you think they're actually trying to tell you something? Listen to them and tell me. Tell me more. Right? yesterday's situation wasn't even really the problem. It was your fear of the unknown, of leaving that situation. It was living with the devil you knew, instead of potentially having to face the devil you didn't. That's what happened to your wings. They just felt safer tucked away. But it's in going that we acquire perspective. The tragedies, the devastation, the things that kept us awake at night, they really weren't that bad. But how are we to know? When you build walls around yourself, what's within them becomes your entire world. It's in going that you create yourself. And while everything you need is already beating in your chest, The great unknown before you is the water to that seed, the key to that door. What you fear is exactly what you need. And so the beautiful dance through life goes on. Not beautiful because of its elegance, it's rarely that. But beautiful because of its promise, its malleability. Beautiful because we get to move without answers in order to find answers. Beautiful because what we become is directly proportional to what we're willing to endure. And that means that the universe doesn't judge. It doesn't know us by our failures or our mistakes, but by our courage. Our courage to face all of these things and move forward anyway. To relentlessly explore the resilience of the human spirit. An infinite light in an otherwise finite world. A bridge that is built beneath our feet in real time. What a a weight off of our shoulders to know this. We don't have to get it right. We just have to step out the door trusting that we will pick up enough pieces to put together something meaningful. We just have to go. And then the world, it opens up. Just like that. Um, (laughs) Right here we skipped, you know, 27. Right here. Um, I think thought that I was already on 27, so that's my bad. <laughs> thought that 13 was 27, I wasn't really paying attention, but, you know, we still won. Good job. And reward yourself with, you know, little good jobs, little taps on the backs, because why not? Why not? So here, you see that 6 and 3 is 9, so that's 19, 20, 23, and we made back 52, 35. Minus 23 is 32, so $29.35. 
in profits. We basically made. <laughs> it's funny. It's really funny, bro. It's really funny. It's really, really, really funny. See how easy it is. And if you watch the times, you know. If you know what trading is, nobody trades like this. Why is that? 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Not a minute skipped for 25 minutes. We made $42.67 in 25 minutes. 26 minutes. Right? And we haven't skipped a time. We haven't changed currency pairs. We ain't even do a single bit of hard technical analysis. Just simple chart, you know, graph work, RSI, CCI. One points up, one points down. And you have to also pay attention to the hourly. Usually, that's why I said to trade only around 8 to 11. Well, 8 to 12, but you could do it from 8 to 11 because that's the time where the market moves the most. So you wouldn't have to worry about, you know, the ER, USD pay being let's say well none of them all oh, right here no movement at all hourly 0 0.000 percent it's not moving at all you don't have to worry about that it's always moving the er usd europe and the us dollar is moving in the day that's the time when it is moving you know for a fact that it will move up or down right and the more you trade is the more it's not hard it's simple um i made this trade because I missed the five minutes, so I made it regardless of whether I missed or not. Because you know, it's the what's that crap? Anyways, um, we're going to make how much more trades? We're going to trade until because my battery is kind of dead, and I'm not gonna put my charger on. Just charge the computer, shut it down, and charge it. So, you know. I'm gonna chill, but this is the trading method, and I will be trading every single day for however long. I'm building this YouTube channel off trading, and this only trading method. It's time for us to get wealthy. It's time for every human being to be satisfied, bro. Share this video, show people, show everybody that it's very easy to make money. You don't have to be no genius. You don't have to be no guru, and even if you don't get it. On the first try, it's going, bro. It's going to get so difficult. Like, it's going to get a lot more worse before it could get any better. But the idea is that it only feels worse because you're out of your comfort zone. It's not actually bad. It's much better than being stuck in a nine to five for forty years. Who wants that? That sucks. That sucks, bro. I mean, yeah, you could do it if you wanted, but not being unfulfilled and sad and it's like, man, this is so depressing and I don't want to be here. And, you know, you know that type of vibe, right? You no, know, you're stuck in that. You're much more than that. You're a God in flesh. Keep that in mind. You're God. You are God. It's nothing coming to save you but you. Your prayers are unanswered for the only reason because <laughs> you pr pray to yourself. Meditation. Go into your mind and say, look, I want this and I'm going to get this and nothing would stop me. Be willing to die for it. Right? Be willing to sacrifice everything for it. For what you want. Pick your goal and stick to it. There's nothing that could stop you but you. <laughs> that's, the, that's the tricky thing. Is that the only thing that holds you back is yourself. That's so fucked up. <laughs> so fucked up, bro. But when you realize it is like, what the hell? Like, you're telling me that all this time, all I had to do was change my perspective? Like, it's that simple? Yes, it is that simple, buddy change your perspective right happy times bring happier times good times bring better times right 
bad times on the other hand bring worse times and turns <laughs> situations you know, if you're insecure and you're in a relationship you're going to project your insecurity onto that relationship and then you're going to make your partner insecure and then your relationship is going to fall apart and then because your relationship fall apart now you're depressed and because you're depressed you start doing drugs and because you're doing drugs you start having unprotected sex with a bunch of random people and because of that now you have a std or an sdi and because of the sdi you start doing more drugs and because of the more drugs you start you become a junkie and you know your life just spirals out of control and take accountability it's karma whatever happened to you is because you made a decision for that to happen to you and it doesn't have to be a bad thing you could let's say a guy who woke up early for work to go to go to work right for let's say it's 8 a.m he woke up six he got ready he did everything by seven he was on the road he's driving he's at a cross section boom a car hit him he's dead that's karma his decisions led him to that place right it's not necessarily he did anything bad to get to that place. That's the, that's the fucked up part, bro. It's not because he did anything bad to get to that place. It's because every decision has a consequence, whether it's good or bad. But it just has a correlation with, you know, usually good decisions have good consequences. But sometimes good decisions have bad consequences. And bad decisions have good consequences, like... Playing the lottery, the, playing the lottery, buying a lotto ticket every day is a bad decision. Don't do that. The chances of you winning are very slim. But you know, some people win, and ultimately, a bad decision can give you good results. <laughs> By the way, if you buy a single number <laughs> for your whole life every day, you're bound to win the lotto at some point. Eh? I, I feel like that's, I'm not, I don't know if that's a fact, but I feel like if every day you buy the number one, I don't know how the lotto works. I've never bought lotto. Don't take my lot lottery advice. Don't do that. This is not about lottery. This is not about gambling. This is all you need. This right here. That's all you need. Simply put. Right, so we'll do one more rally and then stop. So we'll be done at let's say one fifty five based on how the last one goes. But let's finish up not finish up but let's play the rest of this motivational speech, you know. Um GG man. The old embrace the new simple you think to yourself. Well yeah, of course the best things in life are always simple. Always have been, always will be. We just imagine them to be difficult. We have a, a knack for making simple decisions into complex matrices of cause and effect. Pros and cons, wins and losses. We learn to think for years. Until we finally come to the brilliant realization that happiness, that meaning, that a life well lived comes when... We think less. Ready, fire, aim. There is no per. Okay, so in less than an hour, we made forty nine dollars and fifty cents. You get the idea. <laughs> this is very simple, and also, you know, don't be greedy. Don't up your lot size. Don't trade with ten dollars. The goal is the. This has one, two, the probability of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. You have twelve chances to win a trade. Follow your indicators. Your indicators can't be wrong twelve like times in a row. That's literally impossible. Right? You buy and sell, especially when the market is moving. There's no fucking way. There's no way. Right? So, GG man, you could screenshot this, put this anywhere. You could actually do this yourself by coming here. You know, if one lose, you calculate it. How do I make back my dollar? Make back your dollar with two. So, you know, just add a three. So, you make back a dollar and 71 cents. If three and one lose, you want four dollars back. So, how do you make back your four with five? So, you just do six for, you know, your dollar and 42 cents. And so on and so forth until you get, you know, your perfect little, your little sauce. That's your sauce. So yeah, GG, this is the first video of, you know, uh, 
series and welcome welcome